Hey everybody, I wanted to show you six new presets that I'm going to be distributing into the official ASM Hydrosynth Facebook group. And uh, there's 14 in total, but six of these are brand new, and they're using the new 2.0 features. Essentially what I'm doing is I've created some vintage analog type presets, as well as some uh, presets that are using some of the bit reduction and the new step LFO step advance mode. So let's just take a quick look at what some of these presets are doing. Now some, uh, some nice aspects of this one called Old Girl is if we go into the voice menu here, you're going to see I have random phase on. I've got a little bit of analog feel. I've got some stereo width going on. Warm mode is on. And if we go into the voice mod itself, you're going to see I have some subtle parameters set here. It's not going really wild with the numbers here. The, the point of this is to really kind of keep it subtle but moving. And you'll see I have two different slot parameters here, and I also have second feedback. Now, what second feedback is going to do, oscillator 2, this is actually an old trick uh, that's been here all along, but something uh, I, I don't see people using very often. If you set your uh, mutant up to something like PW ASM mode, and then set the depth to zero, you can use the feedback by itself so we're feeding back the oscillator on itself and you get this really nice tone out of it now the slop is quite a lot of parameters here each one of these are filled we're doing um, lots of different modulation depths in here and if I go to the mod matrix you'll see I'm doing different offsets for my pitches I'm doing offsets for my filter my resonance my envelope amount decay release oscillator volume attack times, drive, mutant feedback, um, you know, LFO rates, LFO levels, uh, panning, just a ton of different things are going on there, and we can, we can clean it all up. If I clean it up here, you'll see I get... And I'll take the reverb and delay out as well, so you can hear that straight. And we'll take the feedback off as well. We still have a little bit of the analog feel going on. And I can even take the LFO down so that you hear it just straight. Let's go ahead and bring that feedback up. Just kind of gives it a little something extra. And then the slot. Let's go full slot. And then of course LFO amount. So you get some nice movements in there with the with the point of it keeping it kind of subtle and more true to uh, vintage analog synth. I actually measured out some of my uh, Omega 8, uh, Jupiter 6, and Prophet 5, and I kind of just uh, took some variations on that and, and I kind of matched it up, and that's how I came with those numbers. Now the next one is Swirlt. It's a variation of the same idea with the slot parameters here, but we're doing a little bit more with uh, the filter here. And 
let's go into Dirty 70. Now, Dirty 70, you're going to notice I'm using some bit reduction in here. And, um, you know, it's, it's meant to be a bit dirty. You can hear the stepping in the uh, envelopes and the LFOs. bits you can really hear it get grimy. Take a listen to uh, Impossible Mission. Now, a nice feature of this one is when we look at the voice menu here, if I go into voice, You'll see I've got my settings here. Some of them go a little bit more extreme than others. Most of them are pretty subtle, but I have a few voices that kind of pop out. And uh, let's take a look at the jitter here. Now, jitter is a combination of a few different uh, mod depths, and those mod depths will allow us to do things like adding in some noise to the filter and to the, uh, the oscillator pitches so that we can kind of get this little... Uh, jittery action like old video games kind of had on their oscillators. And you'll notice on certain voices it's going to be more intense than others. So these subtle jitter amounts kind of add to that to that flavor, that old school game flavor. And of course I can game on. Now I grew up as a Commodore 64 kid. So the waveforms kind of take after that. Um, I'm using wave scan, so it's unlike the SID chip, you'll be able to smoothly morph between these, but these are all running at four bits and I can go between the traditional waveforms but I also have my own created noise wave shape if I can take the second oscillator out Of course we have some tremolo, because why not? And then we have Hunt Spy. Now Hunt Spy is using our Step Advance LFO, and it will play out a sequence. And you'll see that I'm using the arpeggiator, but I'm only using one note. And that's just so that I can keep a steady sequence going like that. But I can also trigger it just by my keys. Which is fun when you can kind of alternate between notes. And in addition to that, I've laid out some, some nice uh, parameters here. even have 
have some accent. one another uh, analog style patch but doing a little bit more with some pulses thing about this one is that I have this LFO quantize button and when you turn it off LFO is going to be smooth when you turn it on it'll step So you can grab these uh, free patches over at the official ASM Hydrosynth Facebook group, and it'll be in the file section. So check it out.